Hey, Mater. What is it, buddy? Have you heard about the new car that's jamming? Is he, is he listening to music and wearing headphones? No guy, no fellas, that is n no, this is That's Jammin'. Who even are you? My name is Revo, my name is Revo Klaus. Don't you mean River Scott? I mean, you sa your name sounds like him and... No, 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 I am not River Scott, I am a new guy, I am, a we are racers from the Salt Flats. Anyways, we gotta go get, do some more time trials. We're coming, Sarah. Yeah, we're coming. Oh. Well, I don't know what that was all about. Yeah. Let's go watch them race. Here we are with, well, some brand new characters for Cars on the Road. And, well, strangely it's not in the diecast, but it is the, but hey, it's still new characters. I'm not complaining there. Anyways, guys, what's up, guys? Cars Ignite here, and welcome back to another Cars on the Road review. We're back for more color changers. Today we're reviewing Robocost, and that's jamming. Still, I've not been able to find Mater, but I was lucky enough to find these two. Which is really nice. So, well, these guys are both from the Salt Flats, which we'll talk about a bit more once I get these guys out of the package. Anyways. Let's take a look at, at their packaging. We got some nice render of both, I mean, we got nice renders of both Revo and that's on their packaging. The Cars on the Road logo, Color Changes logo, Revo Cross on the name tag, 2 and 1. Of course, the map in the back of the pack, on the back of the packaging, in the back of the blister, um, of the packaging, um, cars on the road, color changes, Revo, Revo Cost, and it shows the purple is the cold color, blue is the warm color. So, and there's a sticker here on both Dats and Revos, which reveal, which if you take these stickers off, which I'm not going to, it reveals their code names. Well, the prototype, what well, the names they went by when they were on the case lists and stuff. Like he's, I believe, is he's Classic Rod, and he is Special Construction. That's his Special Construction. Revos, Classic Rod. I really, I tell ya. That's Jammin. His name is very odd. Like, that's Jammin? It's, this is what should have, this is what DJ's name should have stood for, but it's Devin something. I don't remember what the last name is, but I did remember reading his name is Devin, apparently. So there they are. And that's, uh, hot color is gray. There's the sticker, and his cold color is a dark blue. So there we go. That's a look at their packaging. Time to get them out of the box.
So here are that and Robo out of the that's jamming and Robo cost out of the packaging, and they look amazing together. Very unique, I say. Um, before we get into the review, I would I'm I'm this is not gonna give off any spoilers for the show. This is just general knowledge about the location they'll be at, which is the Salt Flats. So, um, if you're wondering, why does that look so different compared to most normal cars? Well, you might think he's a fictional car, but, um, no, actually. The Bonneville Salt Flats is a location in Utah where they race high-speed cars. Well, they don't really race anymore, they more it's more like time trials, it's drag racing, basically. They race experimental cars, such as like that's in Revo here. And another example for of experimental cars they'd race there are like the rocket racers here. So yeah, um and like they like setting speed records. Like as far as I know from what I looked up where I just researched about it. The top speed, the one of the highest speeds right now is like a whopping five. There is a whopping five hundred and seventy-six miles per hour. So it looks like from what I found, from what I found there, it looks like we won't be seeing anyone right we will be seeing them race on the salt flats but not i believe not race against each other maybe they'll race against each other i don't know if they will or not but um i really hope to see like mcqueen or mater race against that's a revo oh no his color i'm starting to change his color back ah <laughs> and that's why i really need a cars a regular cars on the road mcqueen soon Anyways, I think, oh, I forgot to mention, so, Revo, I couldn't find any pics that have a car, of a car close, close to him, but there is one car that I found that is very close, to that's Jammin', that's Jammin' is based off of the Challenger 1, which is what that car is called, all up. Uh, and I'm putting a pic of it up on the screen right here. Let me. There we go. So, yeah. So, there's some info about the salt flats. I don't know how long they've been doing the races or time trials there, but it's been a while. And I'm so happy, and it's kind of cool that they're touching on this concept of the salt flats. Anyways, let's start our review off with, let's start reviewing these guys, starting with Dats Jammin. He's got the number 8 on his hood. He's a very simple design, like, his decal, he doesn't have many decals, but here he is next to Storm. Which is like the closest thing I found to him. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second, guys. I just thought about it. So here's that. I'm back, and well, I want to bring out Silver Jackson. That is quite small compared to Jackson, but I don't know how, if this is going to be the exact way he is going to be on the diecast. But we have seen a picture of the diecast where he's all shiny and chrome. Can't wait to get that so I once that comes out so I can review so I can review them and compare them to this Silver Jackson, which still they look amazing together. That looks really awesome. Um anyways, number eight there. He's got a very nice smirk on his face. And then um he's got these he's cover his tires are all covered up. Very neat car. And then he's got a parachute on the back, I believe that is. And then he's got 
these real, I don't know what these are really, but these are exhaust pipes, I know, but I don't know what these are because I'm not the, like, I researched a bit on the salt flats itself, but, and I was trying to find a card that matched stats, but I did research, like, what these are. I did not know about this, so, I have no idea what these are, but hey, if anyone, well, I don't know if any racer, racing experts would know about this, but it would be awesome if someone could help me figure out what these little things are. I don't know, they're not taillights, because... If, as far as I know, they don't race, the salt, these salt flat racers don't race at night. Because they're experimental cars, they're meant to race in the daylight. And I forgot to mention that the salt flats is like this almost desert place where they race on the sand. Not a road, they race on sand, which is awesome. And here is... Revocos. So Revo, he's got this nice purple flames on the front of him. He's blue. He's got, and then he transitions in, and then it's got blue. He's blue. His paint job now. His paint job now that you think about it, kind of reminds me of Bobby Swift. In the front, he's got a very nice smiling expression, and then he's also got a um blown engine on the front of him. One. 115, he's number 115. There's some sort of code here, JL2071, which is not a date stamp, because a date stamp would always be on the base. Um, that, so yeah, 115. Blue, nice blue rim M's on his tires. Which are pretty standard, I mean... I'm pretty sure there were a few salt flat. I'm pretty sure there are a few salt flats cars that have like very simple rims like this. There's an exhaust pipe down there. Windows. Um. And then on the back it says 115 MCL with the with the back being bolted on. Which is really nice detail there. I know. Anyways, I've so like I was saying on the back it says has his number one hundred and fifteen again. MCL, which I have no idea what MCL stands for. Um, and then he's got a license plate spot and a bumper, which is kind of weird that he's got a license plate spot. And then I forgot to mention one one five five on the roof and then windows on the back. So now let's get so now before we get into color changing these guys, let's get into comparisons with Revo. So starting off the comparisons for Revo, we've got Snot Rod because he has a fully blown engine just like Revo does, but his is. But Revo's is not as, like, raised up as his. His is more taller, and it's got more stuff to it. Like, I don't know what this thing is. Oh, like, there's, there's, it's interesting. And then Rev Revo Cost actually is very similar to some of the Thomasville Racing Rate. I mean, Legend Racers, like, for example. I mean, Thomasville Racers, like, for example, River, here's River. Yeah. Oh, no. He even has the bolted up back, just like River, same thing with Caleb. And Duke, which I believe he is the most similar to Caleb Worley here, because... Unlike River and Duke here, Caleb has absolutely no fenders at all. Just like Revo here. Although the nose is a bit more curved on Revo compared to Caleb. 
So yeah. That's it for reviewing these two. Well, it's time to get onto the color changing fun and we'll wrap up this video. So here we are with these new color changers and I'm ready to start. I already tested the water mix. It works fine. So let's let's take that jam in first and dunk him into the cold water. And I forgot to mention that these two this is how you'll see them in the show. Oh my goodness. That blue shade of blue actually looks so cool. In fact, it's kind of cool that it actually reminds me of both the Endurance Racer Storms blue and it all what But what I was like when I said it was so cool, I was Think, I just thought about it. It just the color looks just like the color the car the color of the car he's based off of, which is the Challenger One, which is really awesome. So here he is, all in dark blue. I don't think the back part of him no the back part of him doesn't change, but the rest of him does. Okay, and like. All the other, all and and all the number eights and his eyes are all stickers. However, the rest are the only. There's no really decals on him. But with the Revo on their hand, the only de the only stickers that are are his eyes, which are which is nice. Anyways, there's that's dunk that's jamming dunked. Let's dunk Revo costs. Come on, let me get his. Let me. Oh, I love that bright purple. It really is a nice contrast to his flame job on the front of him. That is really nice. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do something interesting. Okay. So let me do something like this. Oh. And half and half split. Me. Get a bit more. Yeah, that look at that. And then get his eye. Get his eye. There we go. Look at that. That looks amazing, actually. And that blue is darker than I expected. I did not expect. I thought it was going to be like River Scott's color, but whoa. Look at that dark blue. It looks really nice on that. So let's... Okay, there we go. So there's the splits. I mean, the split half and half, but let's do the front and back now. Okay, so the... So I want the... Actually, I'm going to take the... Let the... I'm going to... Take, put them back to their normal colors first. Make sure. There we go. No, actually, now that I think about it, honestly, the blue in the front, gray in the back, that would look way really cooler. Let me make sure he's all changed back to his gray color. Here we go. And then, so there's that, let me, let me settle in there a bit, oh, ho, ho. that actually came out nice, I need to get his eyes a bit more, and then I'm gonna do the back part for, for Revo in purple. Whoa, look at that. I really think they really chose well. Like, honestly, even though part of his the front half doesn't change color, the purple, the front, the darker purple, still two very nice releases right here. That's and Revo. 
if you really want these to add these characters to your collection, right now this is the only way you can, and, well, I say they're worth it. Like, look at these two. I'm amazed by the how well, how well these guys turned out. Here we go. And then, let me get... No, wait. Okay. And then, yeah. So, yeah, let me... Let me put them back in their cold colors one more time to turn them around. Take one last look at them in their cold colors, then we'll wrap things up. Really nice. I am really impressed with these two. I can't say that and say it enough. In my opinion, these are possibly some of the coolest color changers out there. Not just because they're new characters, but I really do like the color. I do really love Revo. Like, the designs look nice. I think the colors that they chose for these guys, they chose really perfectly. There we go. There's Revo all back to normal. One that's and there's and here is Dats back to normal. Looking really nice. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of That's Jammin' and Robocost from the new Disney Plus series Cars on the Road. D as I'm filming this, I actually just put out the, um, my first Cars on the Road video, which was the review of the Whale Car Wash and the McQueen and Cruise story packs, which were amazing! Part three, and if I do another video, don't, I, I mean, it went next Cars on the Road video, most likely will be either the Showtime Loop, if I ever, once I get, or once I get that, I'm able to, um, the, Maybe the Rusty's Dinoco Racing Center might go for that, but um, for sure, the next review you most likely will see for Cars on the Road will be Mater, because, as you know, I have not been able to find Mater, so I'm probably going to have to order him online. <sighs> so there we go. Okay, th let me change that's a bit better. Er, yeah, there we go, there's that's way better. Oh, that eight, right next to the eight, there was a bit of blue there. There we go. So, guys. Anyways, time to get in a group shot. There is Cruz, here's Lightning, and then that's in Revo, and let's put Mater in the back, right here. So, guys, that is it for this review. What a amazing duo Dats and Revo are. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed the hilarious skit at the beginning, I forgot to mention. Like, I'm ex- like, this- <laughs> Like, I decided to play around with that. It's- because that's jammin'. It's such a funny name! I mean, it's kind of a hilarious name, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Alright, guys, bye!